All right, we're back. Let's quit fucking around and figure out what happened to our brother Michael. The only illumination in the greenhouse comes from the dirty skylights casting strange shadows. Seated at a cluttered desk is a wisp of a man hiding under a large hat. Tell me more about this man. Come on in. Just slot your cred stick before we start talking. Time is money, chum. I'm looking for some information. I don't care about your story. Information is a commodity like anything else. I charge a flat fee of 500 Nuyen for all my info. Nuyen up front. So hack up my fee and I'll spill all I know. Easy money, chummer. I'll pay. Boris watches the Nuyen roll off your cred stick. Ah, it gives one a warm feeling all over. You just ask me anything you want to know. Tell me what you know about my brother, Michael. Just occurred to me that your brother was in here a while back. You fucker. He came in using the name Owlfeather. Though I never believed that was really his name. I believed he bought a few high-powered weapons, lots of ammo, and a four-wheel truck. Tell me more. Anyway, I wouldn't have thought twice about it till some Renraku hotshot started a bird dog. Never seen the suit before he came looking for your brother. He had lots of hired protection, but he looked like the most dangerous of the bunch. Tell me more. His name was Mago Sochu. He applied some pressure, but I didn't give him a bro, I swear. I didn't know nothing except what you would have fucking given him up if you had the chance. Mako must have gotten more info elsewhere. Uh, thanks. Your mind mulls over this new information as you turn to leave. You are startled back to reality as Renraku's strike team breaks into the greenhouse. They're those fuckers from the hotel before. Tell me more about how I'm gonna get fucked. They are aiming for Boris, who attempts to run for cover. The leader seems to recognize you and immediately instructs the team to take you down instead. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Forgot to equip my new spell. How clumsy of me. Let's dance. Mana Blast. Oh. Oh shit. This is gonna go south. Joshua needs help. Just give him all of it. Give him the medicine. Let's try this again. That was closer for comfort than I wanted. And Ricky's in a pool of his own blood. That didn't work. That was for mental health. Alright, heal wounds. Pete, you cover me while I cast this spell forever. Be healed. Oh shit. Don't tell me it doesn't work if they're dead. This was part of my plan. He's just gonna have to stay out here. Maybe it just doesn't work on people to level one when they're dead. I don't, this is... This puts a major kink in my plan. I'm sorry, Ricky. I'm sorry. Boris appears much more nervous now that he survived a Renraku strike team attack. He doesn't let that get in the way of business, though. Tell me. A sincere thanks for the save, chum. You gave me the distraction I needed to hop out the back. So sit down and slot up. A guy's got to make a living, you know. I'm looking for some information. You just ask me anything you want to know. Do you know anything about this David Owlfeather? That ranger who patrols the Silly Sheed? You won't get to see him unless you got a visa, of which I have plenty in stock. Rarely leaves that Amerindian village he's stationed at, but he's okay. It's his brother who's a real dreckhead. A brother, you say? Yeah, Aragorn. A real friggin' arrogant punk. I don't care for him, but I gotta make money. Last time I, he was shooting his mouth off, but taking on a big corp for one of the Johnsons around here. Brother? Haven't seen him since, and don't feel too bad about that, though I do miss the creds. Well, you're not getting my creds, because you got Ricky killed. Protect me! Oh, oh. Oh. oh, it worked! I don't even know what... I'm not complaining about that. 
Ricky should have left my party when I left the screen with him unconscious. But I am not complaining. Just saved myself several thousand new yen. Another med kit. Alright, let's reflect on what just happened. Notebook. Tips and clues. Owl Feather is stationed at the Ranger Outpost in the Amerindian village. A visa is required for entrance. Aragorn, Owl Feather's brother, was quite vocal about town. Talking about a corporation for a local Johnson. He's not been seen since. Fuck that guy. Renraku began harassing Boris after Michael had visited him to purchase equipment for his run. Mako Sochu is heading the Renraku Inquiry. Alright. Let's go back to Seattle, figure out where this Mako fellow is. Wait. Kill two birds with one stone, I think. Aragorn was talking with a Johnson, and I need information about Meku. Johnsons love giving me information. Go talk to my boy Mortimer. I'm looking for some information. I need some questions answered. Do you know anyone by the name Mako Sochu? Sure, Mako is a Renraku man, used to be a project manager. I hear he's been in the doghouse lately, something to do with his project getting fouled up. Here he's been running up quite a tab at Club Penumbra since. I've got another question for you. Do you know anyone by the name of Mako Sochu? Fuck yourself. So we have to get to Club Penumbra. Talk to Mako. Is everyone wearing their armor? Because fucking we died really quick last time. Everyone's wearing it. Oh, it's... don't want to get caught in some horseshit planter maze. Alright, this should be Club Penumbra. Club Penumbra is the most decadent of all the nightclubs in Seattle. Some people claim they have been on the waiting list for more than a year. The doorman smiles at you and asks your business. I'd like to go in. The doorman smile fades when you ask to enter. We serve an exclusive clientele here at Club Penumbra. Please come back when you are more well-known to our patrons. Tell me more about how I'm fucked. A well-mounted auto gun swivels towards you. It seems like a good idea to leave. That fucking sucks. Our reputation's too low to get inside that club, but... We should have some karma saved up from all those Matrix runs. Just gotta remember where the hotel is. Just walk away. I don't need grenades, I need a hotel room. Aha! A bed. Wiley's Gala Inn is a rather stark hotel in the center of the Penumbra District. While quite safe to stay in, it is rumored that the inn is owned and operated by the Mafia. Hello, young fellow. Need a room for the night? My two dwarven friends and I are looking for a place to crash. That'll be 50 new yen for the room. Assuming you don't steal anything from it, otherwise I'll have to charge you extra. He gives you a sly wink. There's not going to be fucking towels here, are there? There's no towels. Reputation. I'm that guy that killed the trench coat guy. Level up. And level up Ricky's magic. And your computer days are over. Now you're going to fire SMGs. See, so SMGs is at zero, but firearms is two, so that trickles down into a level two, so. Now he's at level four, so now every gun's level four, including SMGs, which is what he uses, which is perfect. Check out. A little more aggressive with our street crossing now, I'm in a rush. Now I gotta be popular to get inside. I'd like to go in. If I could have the cred stick, I'll transfer the 75 million entry fee. Easy money, chummer. Once inside, you inquire about Mako. The bartender points out a young oriental man sitting alone at a table. Tell me more about this oriental man. 
As you approach, Mako slowly glances up at you with distaste. Suddenly, his eyes widen in horror. Just as suddenly you realize he is now looking behind you. Tell me more about what's behind me. Screaming light explodes from the front of the club. You hear Mako cry out in pain as he dives for the floor. You turn to face a Renraku strike team, looking like they're gunning for Mako as much as you... These guys are fucking everywhere. Oh. Oh. A ballroom blitz. Come on. Fuck it. That went far better. On the floor, Mako lies unconscious in a pool of blood. You rudely wake him from his crimson slumber, and he immediately begins to whine. I'll tell you whatever you want, but you need to get me to a doctor first. Tell me more about... More. Get me patched up and I'll tell you everything. I'm just a company man. I follow orders, that's all. Talk now and bleed later, Frager. I want to know what happened to my brother. Mako winces at your onslaught. My orders were to track the runners and report on their activities. My team lost them in the forest just before they were killed. Renragu had nothing to do with their deaths. We wanted them alive. What can you tell me about Caleb Brightmore? The Mr. Johnson of your brother's team was an elf named Caleb Brightmore. But I'm sure he was taking orders from another. He deals exclusively with big-time Shadowrun and Kalan. He hangs out at Icarus Descending. If you want answers about your brother, go to him. Why is Renraku involved? I was the project director for Operation Thon. Searching the caves and forests for clues to some sort of tomb. Before you ask, I don't know what Thon means. Tell me more about Thon, though. Your brother's team became a top priority after they were hired by Caleb to do the same. We hoped they could lead us to something. Tell me more. After the team was killed, Renraku spent more time following up on the situation. They even upped the resources to find out who killed them and why. It's a lot of tell me mores. Tell me more, though. I was immediately cut from the project after the forest incident, so I don't know anything after that. Renraku replaced me with a new project director. His name is Ito Ogami. Tell me about Ito Ogami. He flew out here a couple of days after the forest fiasco. He's most likely staying at a local hotel. I hear he's a real nasty customer. If you want to stay alive, don't mess with him. Tell me more. Now please, get me to a hospital. I need medical care or I'll die. Listen, that was a Renraku strike team that perforated you and they'll surely find you in a hospital. Besides, I've seen people survive much worse than that scratch. That's true, Ricky actually regained consciousness after getting shot in the face by them earlier. Mako looks quite pale but manages to give you a venomous glare. You shake your head in disgust and leave him to his own recourse. Alright. What do we got? We got some new clues out of that. Tips and clues. Caleb Brightmore, we know where he is now. He's at Icarus Descending, which is one of the night clubs. Owl Feather, Aragorn. Mako's orders were to keep track of Michael's progress. After the team's demise, a new project director replaced Mako. His name is Ito Ogami. So we gotta find Ito Ogami and we gotta find Caleb Brightmore.